Okay, so today we are going to talk about two-point perspective. We went over one-point perspective last week, and just as a review with one-point perspective, you have one vanishing point. So with two-point perspective, we can easily figure out that you are going to have two vanishing points. So we're going to start out with our horizon line, just like in one point. Okay, and then I have two vanishing points. So with my vanishing points, I'm gonna wanna set, put them decently far away because the closer they are, the more distorted it's gonna be and the more difficult it's gonna be to create this two point perspective. So with one point perspective, we started with a square, right? Or the shape that we were trying to create. Um, for two point perspective, we will start with the corner. So it's like we're looking at the boxes from the corner. So I'm going to start with eye level. So I'm going to put my line right on the horizon line. Okay. So my first step in two point is to connect the top and the bottom of my line to both of my vanishing points. So I'm going to start with the top. Connect it to my vanishing point. I'm going to connect it to both sides. It might have been helpful if I made my line a little bit bigger, but it is what it is. So I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom part of the line. Okay, so I've connected the top and the bottom to both of my vanishing points. So the next thing is I need to create those other edges of the box I'm trying to create. So I'm just gonna draw vertical up and down lines wherever I feel like I want my box to end. Right, so go ahead and erase those middle lines so that you can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. So I've got this box, right, almost like a building. So now let's go ahead and do one above the horizon line. So we'll just draw it slightly off center from the other one. Remember, we're starting with the corner, so it's just one line. I'm going to connect the top and the bottom to both of my vanishing points. Now, since we are above the horizon line, Right, if we remember correctly, this means that this box is going to be in what's called worm's eye view. Right, we will be looking at the bottom of it. So there's a couple extra steps that we need to do when you're drawing above or below the horizon line with two point perspective. Okay, so I have those drawn. Now remember my next step is I need to create my edges. So I'm gonna figure out where I want my box to end, I'm going to draw a vertical line. Alright, so it's starting to look more like a box, but we're not quite there yet, right? I'm missing this bottom part. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take these lines that I just drew, and I'm going to connect them to the opposite side vanishing point. So they're going to cross each other and in the end create the bottom side of that cube. And for those parts, we only need to connect it to the opposite vanishing point. We don't need to do both because there's already a line going there, right? From where we originally drew lines. So now I can go ahead and erase these to kind of give you a better idea. We'll just go around. All right, and I've got this floating box. I can see the bottom. We are in worm's eye view. So the last one that we're going to do is underneath my horizon line which means we will be looking at the top of it, so it is bird's eye view. So again, I'm gonna connect the top and bottom of my line to both vanishing points, all right, to help create my box. It's very important that you connect both, otherwise it's not going to work out and you're gonna be very confused 
with what you end up with because it will not be what you're expecting and it will not be correct. So, okay, so I've done that part. I've connected this line that I drew to both vanishing points, top and bottom. So now remember the next step is to draw my sides, right? Figure out where I want it. Let's make this like skinny, skinny dude. All right, so we're gonna make it long and skinny. Okay, so I've got most of it, but I'm missing the top part. So again, remember, I'm going to connect those lines that I just drew to the opposite side vanishing point, right? I don't need to do both because it's already connected from the original lines that I drew. So I'll take this one that is on the right and connect it to the left side vanishing point. And then I'll take the line that is on the left and connect it to the right side vanishing point. All right, and I've got another box going on. We'll erase those extra lines just so we can kind of get an idea. Okay, so two point is really, really good for creating things like cityscapes, so buildings and all of that. Um, and it's just a different way to create that perspective when we are trying to create the element of space in something that is two dimensional. So just as a review, remember this is worm's eye, eye level, bird's eye. Okay, and it is two point perspective. So we have two vanishing points and we start with the corner of our box every single time. 